Y'all think Tesla is hot. Larry, I got something that's even hotter than Tesla. Uh -oh. Can you guess what it is? Uh, no. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk about Bitcoin and the things you can do around Bitcoin if you can't afford one. But before we get to Bitcoin, ladies and gentlemen, I got to talk about this company that I mentioned last week when it was twelve. Riot? No, I'm talking oh. about Palantir, ladies. Oh and yeah, gentlemen. they're going up again. They keep on climbing, ladies and gentlemen. This is my account. I bought some more shares um, yesterday, and in just that, in just one day today, ladies and gentlemen, this I took this screen share at about noon. Just today, I made four hundred dollars with this stock creeping the hell up. My average cost is fifteen fifty two. The stock made it today by the end, ladies and gentlemen, twenty nine dollars. So, mm. ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what you're doing if you haven't decided to take a look at Palantir, um, because this stock is going nuts. And this is what they do: they are a holdings company that engages in software solutions for the government and other commercial businesses. And one reason why they took off so, they're taking off so good, ladies and gentlemen, is because when they came on IPO a couple of months ago, they didn't do none of that bull jive where they let the private investors get this early rate that's cheaper than what the retail investor can get. They came in, everybody had to pay. They dropped at like $9, everybody paid $9. It went down a little bit, and then when they finished signing this last contract with the government, it fortified them for a decade, a decade. And they don't even like the, they're not even fans with the Trump administration. They are more in line with Biden and people who are kind of centrist and lean left. So Larry- well, they signed that contract under the, under the Obama administration. And they just signed another one under the Trump administration. And that's why I said they, they are kind of, moderate to left leaning, but they still got another contract under the Trump administration that they signed two weeks ago. Oh, wow. What's holding you back, Larry? You, I can easily see this stock right now. It's at $26. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, when me and Larry make predictions on this channel, they happen. Easily yeah, by next year. I, mean, I should have bought it when, when I saw it at like 18, and then I should have bought it again when I saw it at 21, and then 24. I, I think I might... I think I might pick some up on Monday. It's not too late, ladies and gentlemen. I think by next oh, year at Friday. this time, be Friday. by next year at this time, ladies and gentlemen, I think this stock could easily be $180. Next mm. Christmas, we could see that stock 180. If you want to get on, get in on something that has good numbers, great projections, longevity, and it's fresh, it's relatively fresh. This is a stock for you, ladies and gentlemen. Ground floor, time to jump on it. And my man Larry said he's going to commit Friday when the markets open back up. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get some of that. I, I, I was holding off, and now I feel bad because now I'm going to have to pay more than I wanted to. When I, when, I, I, when I almost bought it the other day, it was at 22, and I should have just pulled the trigger and bought some then, and I didn't. And if I had, I would have been really happy right now. Hey, it's never too late. Ladies and gentlemen, Stock is Palantir, ticker symbol PLTR. Get you some while the stock is still relatively cheap compared to its price over earnings. Next big thing that everybody wants to know and has asked me about in the past and has asked me about now is this crazy thing right here. Larry, that's Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. For the longest time, I wouldn't give Bitcoin any credence because it's not widely recognized it's not uniformly recognized. Everybody's not using it around the world. Well, that was two years ago, ladies and gentlemen. There was a time Bitcoin went from six grand to 12, and that's when it was in the news really hot. Well, let me show you what it's done this week. So I got this from today. Now take a look at what it was this time last week. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. this thing just be it it just goes bonkers. Last week it gained six thousand dollars. Now you might be mm -hmm. saying, what's what's been creating the bump in Bitcoin? Okay. There's two things that have created the bump in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. Some of your major investment houses that do institutional investing are buying Bitcoin. And they're giving it more credence because 
My argument two years ago, what is not readily used everywhere, more places, ladies and gentlemen, are now accepting Bitcoin. More financial um, apparatuses are using Bitcoin. Cash App, PayPal, yeah. Robinhood. And Robinhood just signed up this year alone. 15 million new investors that all have access to Bitcoin, which has caused these institutional investors to take it seriously. So I'm starting to believe in Bitcoin right now. It keeps growing. But it's saying all that, Larry, what I want people to understand is this. You might not be able to afford $19,000. Hell, who? it ain't but so many people that can do that. But what BitChain is built on, ladies and gentlemen, is something called blockchain technology. And if you want the real definition of blockchain technology, there are your key takeaways. Basically, it's a typical database in which it shares information. Blockchain store the data on blocks that are then chained together. And you can read up on it a little more. That is also how they mine Bitcoin. But the practical application for blockchain technology is boundless, ladies and gentlemen. And all that was set up to say this. Get you some Riot. Riot is a <laughs> blockchain company that not only do they do the blockchain in the cloud, but they also mine cryptocurrencies. And as you can see, they have been going up while cryptos are going up. So if you want to be invested in two ways, you're investing in the growth of cryptocurrency and you're also investing in the growth of blockchain. Get Riot. It's only $7.29. And in the last week, it has gone up um, 20%. And there is no stopping that one either. So now I ask you, Larry, what's holding you back from getting you some Riot? I'll tell you. I, I mean, I may get some Riot. I almost did this. I almost did on, uh, on what, Monday. But I didn't. I, I just, the whole crypto thing, I don't understand cryptocurrency. I don't understand Bitcoin. I don't understand the whole thing about mining for Bitcoin. I don't understand the, I don't understand what the, what the currency is weighted on. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. I don't understand it. And I don't like to, I don't like to buy stuff and buy into stuff that I don't understand. And every time I try and get people to explain it to me, right. I get people who are very excited about Bitcoin and they keep on, they go on about it. Oh, it's the future is this and that. And I'm saying, okay, I get, I get you're saying that, but you haven't answered my question about what is it? What, how is the currency weighted? Like I know that some countries' currency is weighted on the gold standard. If you have $300 trillion worth of gold, well, when you have your dollar bill, it's a percentage of the gold that that country is holding. If you have a Federal Reserve system like we do and our money is based on nothing and it's all fiat currency, then I know that it's based on nothing. But but really what our country currency is based on is the faith uh, in the currency. That's really what it is. But yeah, I, I don't agree understand... On that. I don't understand cryptocurrencies. I don't understand blockchain. I don't understand how it works. I don't understand how, you know, where the money comes from, how it's how it's valued. I don't understand why it goes from 6,000 to 19,000. I don't understand any of it, and I've yet to have anybody explain it to me. So until I get a good explanation of what the hell the currency is and what it does and how it's about, what it's about, I'm not touching it. And that may mean that I'm going to lose a lot of money. But I don't trust what I can't understand. Well, so 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 before I let me just read this to you. And they're talking about the use of blockchain. In Bitcoin's case, blockchain is used in a decentralized way so that no single person or group has control. Rather, all users collectively retain control. Decentralized blockchains are immutable, which means that the data entered is irreversible. For Bitcoin, that means that transactions are permanently recorded and viewable to anyone. So let me put it to you like this. The reason why I picked Riot was because I have a lot of people who feel like you, Larry. And I'm not saying you're old school, but I'm saying a lot of people that follow me are old school investors. And basically, your argument was what I was saying two years ago. And I'm still not saying jump on Bitcoin, yet I'm saying Bitcoin is speculative. 
But what I right. am saying is practical is the blockchain technology. That's not just you don't just use that with Bitcoin. That can be used in science. That can be used in hospitals. That can be used in data centers. That can be used in the cloud. So that's why I say invest in Riot because the risk is very low and the rewards are two pronged. You're also basically investing in the growth of cryptocurrency, but you're primarily investing in the growth of blockchain technology. So that's why I said, get right. You get the best of both worlds without leveraging too much money. Right. Well, so, I'll think about it and, and see what it's in. And I, I mean, I may just grab some shares of, of Riot. I mean, I, I, I'll just be, I don't know, man. I just, I look at that right there. I, I see they have six employees, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. They what's their market but, cap? Three third three hundred something million dollars. I'm like, I just well, I, I mean know, well, I mean, you know, you would <clears throat> expect you would expect a small cap company when well, they're not even small, they're mid cap. You would expect a mid cap or small cap to only have, you know, maybe four or five hundred million. I mean, that's standard for small and mid caps. But I'm just saying you like to take risk on the smaller stocks and their and their growth. There you go. I do, but here's the thing. I like to take I like to take risk on things <clears throat> that I understand. Like I okay. took a risk and bought some, I bought Marathon Oil, right? Right. Because I believe I, I think there's gonna be a big boom in and some of the traditional energies the sectors that are coming. I think that I mean, yes, all the stuff with EV cars and everything is gone. I think that's all fantastic. But guess what? The world still runs on oil. It just does. Planes run on oil. Trains, for a large part, run on oil. You have you have ships run on oil. You have all that stuff where people are still running. And when you have to start shipping around, when you have to start shipping, you know, three, six, three or eight, what, how many ever billion doses of a vaccine over the next, you know, over the next, uh, you know, one to, to, to 36 months, that's a lot of oil people are going to need to burn. Mm -hmm. Not only because they're going to have to burn it to get it to where it needs to go. They're going to have to be, have fuel to refrigerate all that stuff. They're going to have people going back to work. I think oil is going to do well over the next, you know, over the next several months to the next couple of years. And so I'm willing to take risk on stuff like that, that I understand. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Like I'm okay with taking a risk. Like if someone tell, like I bought, I bought a company that I bought a company that makes jet fuel. I'm okay with that. It's I, like I bought it. It's it's taken a little hit. The, the stock value has gone down. I bought it just the the absolute wrong time. I'm okay with that. I'm just gonna hold on it and wait because I think it's gonna go back up. But I understand that. I understand mm -hmm. this company makes this product. They sell it to these types of companies. I get that. I don't understand blockchain. I don't understand crypto. I need to understand it before I'm buying it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that want to be risky and you don't understand it, or for those of you like me who understand the blockchain and believe in that more than crypto, Riot is a place for you guys to invest $7 a share before you run out here and you get in any of the cryptos and invest you know, thousands of dollars. Give Riot a try. <laughs> buy candy. If you want to invest in something, buy candy. Candy actually makes a product. They actually make something. They create something. They put something out that you can actually buy and put your hands on, and it's easy to understand. It's a car company. They're making a, they're making low cost electric vehicles that have been been approved to be on the roads in California. And people, as you know, what they say, as California goes, so does the country. And the reason for that is is because California has some of the most stringent regulations in the country. And so if a car is, is qualifies to be on the road in California, it also qualifies to be on the road pretty much in all the other 49 states. So if candy, and that's why a lot of companies, when they go to try and get approved to be on the road, the first place they go is California, because you don't want to go and get, uh, you know, get approval to be on the road in Idaho. And then you think you're good to go. You go into mass production and find that you can't put your cars anywhere else. So candy, check them out. KDNY. Check them out. And for my crypto fans out there, I see where you're going. The more you guys become accepted in more places for spending and the more you get on other apps besides Robinhood 
Cash App, PayPal. And the more that these investment institutions come out saying they're investing in crypto, your, your, your Phoenix is going to continue to rise. And I'm going to be eyeballing it. But for now, I'd rather go with the this, company. Lamont. Yeah, go for Let it. Let me ask you this. Uh -huh. What happens... What happens when the when the when the U.S. government simply says at some point, nope, we're blocking all use of cryptocurrency because it has been deemed a threat to national security. If we happen to go to war someplace and all of a sudden you have people that are in and Afghanistan or Georgia or Russia or Iraq or wherever some foe is North Korea and they're using crypto to buy all the arms and the and and all the stuff that they need to wage war what happens when the US government simply says we are no longer allowing any institution in this country to deal with cryptocurrency and we are not allowing anybody who deals in cryptocurrency to deal with the American government then um, what do you do you're still going to have they've people done it before they've you're done stuff like this before you're still going to have people investing in it and in my case riot like i said they mine it but that's not the only thing they do it. That's not the only thing they deal in. That's just a part of their business, which is why I like companies that have diversification. Riot's main goal is the solidification of blockchain technology, which is a facet that allows to build and mine cryptos. So crypto goes up, they go up. Companies continue using blockchain technology, they go up. So I'm gonna be fine. Okay, I'm 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 just I'm not I'm not knocking you for it. I just honestly I really want someone to explain the technology behind it. I want them to explain the currency and what it's based off of and how it's valued. I want that I, I really want some firm explanations on this so that I can understand it and I can feel comfortable saying, yeah, I can I can see buying a company like that because even if I'm not comfortable buying, you know, parts of a of a Bitcoin. At least I can feel company maybe buying some of the stock of a company that mines it or does blockchain. But I, I need to understand the technology behind it. 